All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today, guys, we are on the Xbox One. This is going to be an updated video for the Xbox One shaders, Xbox Series X also. This is all the Xbox consoles, how to get them. This is going to be updated uh, into December 2021 because they removed MC Add-ons Manager, and they also ruined the, the internet browser for Xbox. But where there's a will, there is a way, and we got to work around for everything. So, yeah, this is going to be shaders on the Xbox consoles. If you have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments. I will respond to everyone. Any likes or subscriptions are greatly appreciated, and let's get right into this. So the first thing we need to do is download three applications for your Xbox. So what you want to do is go down here where it says My Games and App. You want to click on that. Then what you want to do is look on the left here. You want to go down to Apps, and where it says Apps, you want to scroll over to where it says Microsoft Store because that is where we'll be getting the apps from. So once you have the store open, what you want to do is go to the search bar right here. And the first one you want to type in is you want to type in My Files just like this. And you'll see the application right there. You want to get My Files Explorer. It's currently purple like this, but this is the one that you want. Uh, I got it for free somehow, but I think it might be a couple dollars. But I think there's also a free trial, so just get the free trial. Do that. And yes, make sure you get that application downloaded. Then what you want to do is go back to the search bar and you want to type in Internet Browser just like this. And you'll see this free Internet Browser that looks like this. And you want to download that one. This is because they recently ruined the, the Internet Explorer on Xbox with downloads. So you have to go ahead and get a different... Uh, browsing source and we're gonna go with internet browser just like this one right here get that downloaded then what you want to do is go back to the search bar and you want to type in expansion for and then you want to get this one in here expansion for explorer it's called it looks like this make sure you get that installed and that is the third and final application that you need to get this to work so we should be good then so after you have all those installed you will now see them on your home screen and the first one you want to go into is the internet browser just like this so once the browser loads up, you want to press Y on your controller, and that will bring up this URL searcher in the top right here. Now in this URL, you have to type in the URL of the download page. So I'm just going to type it in quick right here, www.mediafire.com slash file slash 3xdw. Type all that in, make sure you don't get a single letter wrong, because that will mess it up. But just simply type all that in, pause the video for sure, and that's the link that you need right there to enter. So once you have that entered in perfectly, you want to make sure you have all of it highlighted, and you want to hit the three buttons, the options button on your controller, and you want to click copy just like this. That will copy the entire URL that you just entered, and after you do that, you just want to simply close out of the internet browser. Make sure you have that link copied, though, otherwise you're going to have to retype it. Make sure it's copied, and then you can simply go ahead and close the browser. And when I say close the browser, I mean go to the home page, click on it, and then you want to quit it. Quit it completely just like this, so that you'll basically have to restart it once you, uh, once you click on it again. So once you have completely quit out of the browser, you just want to simply go ahead and open it back up, and now you'll be greeted with this page right here. And all that you want to do is simply not type anything. You just want to click the three buttons on your controller, and you want to click paste, just like that, and you'll get that URL. And then you want to click this next arrow right here, and that will take you to the website with the download page. Once you're at this page, all I have to do is simply click the big blue download button. It will say, do you want to open or save? You want to click, well, I'm going to rename mine here to Console Shader 10, but you want to click save, just like this. Console Shader is a perfect name. Simply click save, and then you just want to wait. So after a little bit of waiting, you'll get this notification right there saying the download is complete. What you want to do is hold the middle button of your controller once you see that notification pop up, and it will take you to this screen right here. Now this screen will show the console shader pack that you just downloaded, and what you want to do is go to the right of it where these three buttons are. You want to click Save As just like this, and then wait a second, let it load up. And then what you want to do is instead of clicking anything here, you want to go to the side, click down one, go to your downloads folder, and then save it into there. Make sure it's a .mc pack. It will be. So just go ahead, put it in the downloads folder. Make sure it says this device downloads and hit save into there just like that. It'll then kick you out after you click save and that is absolutely perfect because at this point we've done everything that we need to do with the internet browser. So go ahead and close out of everything that, you, that we've opened up so far and feel free to go and open up My Files Explorer now. So once inside of My Files Explorer, what you want to do is go up to the top right here where these three buttons are. And all you want to do is simply click on them. You want to go down to where it says add folder to library just like this. Wait a second, let it load. And then it will take you to this screen right here. Now what you want to do is not click anything. You want to go to the left, go down one, and then click on this button right here. And then you should see all these options right here. But you don't want to click any of them. Don't click any of them. All you have to do is simply go down to where it says select. And that is perfect. You don't have to click any of the folders. Just simply hit this device, select, just like that. And it will create a new file called user manager, user whatever, merger, zero, just like this. Perfect. So after doing that, you can close out of My Files Explorer, and what you want to do is go over to the, to the uh, last application that we installed called Expansion for Explorer. Remember, it looks like this. Open that up, and you'll be greeted with this page right here. So what you want to do from this screen is go over to the left right here where it says User Manager 0. You want to press on that, and then you want to go over to your Downloads folder, which is where you saved the Console Shaders Pack 2. And you should see it right up here at the top. It should say Console Shaders Pack. Here's my Console Shader Pack 10. You want to right-click on it. You want to hit Copy File just like this. I mean, press the button with three buttons on it. That's what I mean by right-click. And then you want to go back into User Generated Content, and then go to where it says MC Resource, because this is your Minecraft Resource Packs. Hit the three buttons again and click Paste just like that. And that will paste the Console Shader into your Resource Pack. And that is basically the entire thing done and dusted perfect and uh, yeah it should look just like this make sure it's in your user generated content and you should be good to go and start up minecraft 
So after you get done waiting 10 years for the game to load, make sure everything loads up there on the menu screen. What you want to do is you can go into your pre-existing world, or you can go ahead and make a new world. You want to go down to where it says resource packs, and then right there in my packs, you'll see the console shader right here. Perfect. And then you have to do is simply click on it and hit activate. And then if you go up to your active packs, you'll see it on the top, and that is absolutely perfect, because that means that the console shaders are now applied to this world, and that is awesome. So yeah, after doing all these steps, just go ahead, load the world up as you normally would, and just like that, you'll be greeted with this brand new shader mode. It's kind of more of a texture pack, but it's the best way to make console Minecraft look real life. So it's got like moving leaves, it's got cool sky barriers like that. But yes, that is how you install everything. As always, this should work. This is working in December 2021, after all the MC add-ons manager removal and all that annoying stuff. But yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video. If you have any problems at all, make sure you leave them in the comments down below, as I have responded to every single comment left on my channel ever, so I can definitely help you out. Join the Discord server for more support. Join my Minecraft server, link in the description. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for, video for videos, leave them down below. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And until the next one, guys, have a great rest of your day. It's been Smitty. Peace out.